Still more reasons to leave California? You're a PC gamer. Hey there, it's Tom with Tom Tech Show. And uh, I was looking around, reading different articles and things, and keeping track of all the computing things that, that go on, like I do, because that's it's my day job. My regular job is in computing. And uh, then I kind of put that together. If there's something I find that's of interest, to regular people, I'll make a video. There we go. So we're here at the video. Uh, so I was r wandering around and looking at um, computer gaming, and here we find, I'm looking at, oh, Alienware has these, you know, PC gaming systems, and I'm thinking, wow, that would be cool. You can buy one that's, you know, almost $5,000. Or you can buy one that's just $1,000. So you click on that and say, hey, we'll just buy this. Maybe it's a grandparent buying it for their kid or whatever. And then they come down here and they look and they see this thing. It says, this product cannot be shipped to the states of California, Colorado, Hawaii, Oregon, Vermont, or Washington due to power consumption regulations in those states. Any order, any order bound for those states will be canceled. You're being canceled. Wow, you're being canceled. Even, the, even though you didn't even know it, you're still being canceled. Here we go. So why are these things being, being canceled and not being allowed? Because they use too much electricity. So if you want to game and have the most powerful gaming system you can out there, that's, of course, power means more electricity. So the government says you can't do that. So... Here in their little section 1605 energy performance, it says models manufactured on or after July 1st of 2021, the measured annual energy consumption shall be less than or equal to the values below. So 75 kilowatt hours per year. So that's the maximum. So if you look at their their standards, that like if you ran that system at full power, monitors at high brightness, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, it would use 75, up to 75 kilowatt hours. Well, you're not going to do that. You're going to, you know, it's going to sit there a lot of the time. You're not gaming or anything else, but it has the potential. So obviously this 75 kilowatt hours is too much. You can't do that. And I'm sure... Soon they're going to do, this is standard, they've had revised this several times. I'm sure very soon they're going to be revising it again, and these numbers are all going to come down. And almost probably all gaming machines are going to be essentially illegal in these states, California, Colorado. Of course, these are all, not to get political, but these are all very liberal, wacky, high you know, regulation states. California probably the worst of all of them. I have a way to save power for them, which is to shut down all the Capitol buildings and all the political offices and tell them all to go home and get regular jobs because they're really ineffective at what they're doing if you're seeing what's going on in California. But, of course, this is because these systems, you know, will use too much electricity and cause too many greenhouse gases. Okay, so so we have this connection, right? Okay, use of electricity means you're producing greenhouse gases. To generate that power, to get that power to that system means that you're, you know, you're gonna be, you know, a coal plant or, I mean, natural gas is pretty, pretty good. I mean, the, the Orville Dam where they generate electricity, they've mismanaged that and now, they're going to have to shut the, the power generator down because there's no water in it. But So there's some natural water generated, you know, natural, clean, generated electricity. But most of it, in, you know, in California is going to be, you know, one of the other kinds of, of power generating carbon emissions and waste. So if the PC gamer... Oh, and we were talking, like, how many people are going to be buying, buying these gaming machines? Maybe... One or two percent 
of the game, the machines sold in California are going to be these types of systems. So it's a very minute number of systems. So that's okay. That you can't do. You can't do that. You can't buy those gaming systems. But every parking lot everywhere are these damn things. So you're telling me all the electricity that's used and generated for the electric cars is somehow from some magic clean source that doesn't produce any greenhouse gases or emissions at all. But your kid or someone sitting in their bedroom playing video games is destroying the environment. This is where these people have no idea what they're doing or what they're talking about. They're, they're just, I'm so glad I'm out of California that I don't have to deal with this, that Florida is just, you know, my, my bills that I have are, you know, I only have one bill and that's an electric bill. California, I had, I had a water bill. I had a garbage collection bill. I had a gas bill and I had an electric bill. I had all these bills and they were not cheap by any means. I mean, electricity there was getting like $200 a month. The, the gas and water, <clears throat> or the garbage and water combined was about two hundred dollars a month, uh, and then the gas bill was like thirty to forty dollars a month. So we're talking a lot of money. We're talking uh, some months close to five hundred dollars. Well, now in Florida, all we have is electricity because everything here runs on electricity. There's no gas. Uh, don't need water because I have a well. Don't need any sewage system because I have a septic tank. Yeah, you got to get it cleaned out every every couple of years. You got to get it pumped out, but that's fine. So all we pay is electricity. And we've been here for a couple of months and I've been watching the electricity bill. It's it's between 120 and 140 bucks. I mean, it's just, it's nothing, right? So, but California, they got to get you every which way. So now you can't even, I mean, I would think they would want you to buy this gaming system so they can, jack up your rate oh you have a gaming system maybe we'll need to tax that right no, that would be a good thing you know they could make money but no you can't have that system because it uses too much power and you can't you know we don't want that anymore granted there's cars charging everywhere and that's using you know they don't tell you that in your neighborhood if everybody puts in the 220 charging stations in their houses in the whole neighborhood and everybody comes home at six o'clock and everybody plugs their cars in it'll shut the power grid down they don't tell you that that it can't handle that but your gaming system obviously bad obviously horrible you're so horrible we need to cancel you you need to be canceled right now uh in this article from uh, tom's hardware uh here's the here's the way out should be noted that the new standards do not cover do-it-yourself pcs so enthusiasts who have enough time and effort can build their PCs how they like. And we'll probably end up building a system that uses way more than 75 kilowatt hours a year. Because, oh, gee, I can get dual video cards. I can get three monitors or four monitors. You know, I can get the highest CPU that I want, all these different things, and really start chewing that power. So they're, they're actually, these states are actually screwing themselves up by doing this. It's just, they're asinine. It's, it's so asinine that, that this even exists as a regulation. Uh, but yet, boom, here we go, right? And these are the states, some of these states, of course, are the ones that are saying California and Washington, the ones that are saying they're not in, you know, 10 years or whatever, they're not going to sell gas powered cars anymore. Those, they're going to be illegal to sell those in the states, in those states. So it's just, I mean, with the, with the trash of the power grid system in California that they can't keep it running, they can't, <clears throat> you know, there's a little wind and they got to shut everything down because, you know, the power lines are not, are not good enough to, you know, run in, in windy weather and then it might cause a fire because they've so horribly mismanaged the forests and letting the environmentalists not allow them to clear cut fire break paths in the forests. Whenever I see that, whenever I see, oh gee, you know, there's forests and stuff all, all burned out. So where were the fire break paths in there? Oh, 
This environmentalist group said there was some small creature somewhere, maybe, that might be there so you can't touch it. That's, that's these states, right? That's these states right now. That's those. It's just, it's, it's crazy. You're being canceled. You don't even know it, and you're being canceled. All right, so now you got to go build your own system. So have fun with that if you're going to do some really heavy hardcore gaming and uh, using a lot of electricity. So do that. And, you know, the, the bad part is, of course, Dell doesn't get the computer sale in these states, but uh, you have the fun of building your own system. Pretty cool. There are a lot of videos uh, on how to do it on YouTube. So until they make those Ill illegal, until... You know, YouTube's in California, so maybe they'll start banning and canceling those system builders. Oh, that would just be, who knows what's going to happen. You know, these states can probably pressure <laughs> YouTube to take those videos down. Uh, it's, it's getting ridiculous, and uh, I've got my system down here that I built, and uh, I'll probably build, I need to do some upgrades and stuff. I'll probably get it, I'll get it way up past the 75, for sure, for sure, oh yeah. Yeah, we're going to be chewing some power. All right. Well, there you go. Be aware. These states, California, Colorado, Hawaii, Oregon, Vermont, and Washington will not allow you to purchase gaming systems. So, got to build your own. All right. There you go. Thanks for watching. Take care.